Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. We're out here early today. It's about uh, 9 o'clock, not too early. I had work last night. I always uh, go from work to the gym and then come home and start with chores a little bit before I go to bed to get up and do it again. So, what we got, I got this little hive dissected. I wanted to show you a few things. And one thing I wanted to talk about was uh, we're in full-blown hive beetle season. We're August 5th, and some things that you need to do, especially for your young splits. i got to show you something here. It's just kind of funny how they're sticking their head up there. They come down here to see what I'm into. They're nosy, real nosy. My geese. Goosey and gander. Look, I think a bee just got her. <laughs> These bees will go after animals way faster than they will humans. They're at that level at the hive where it makes the bees mad where their face is at that level at the entrance. Now, they're, they're under there eating a little bit of grass that they can find, which under the hive, there's not hardly any live grass. And that's one thing I wanted to talk about today was is if if you want to keep your hive beetle under control don't let anything grow under your hive keep it as bare as possible and you can go look at in some of our past videos we use the salt vinegar and a little bit of dawn solution and it will kill it'll keep that grass killed off but you got to keep it you got to keep up with it you got to keep it consistent, consistent. Now, I know there's going to be people popping here and say how I'm poisoning the earth with salt. Uh, I really don't. Look, I'd, I've been doing this for years. And one thing to address that, you know, pretty much a lot of the country was buried in ocean that had salt deposits in it anyway. So, you know, a little bit of salt putting under your hive, I don't think is going to hurt the anything so uh, you can have your opinion on that that's fine but i use it if you want to use it you know you can go back and and if i can find i'll find that video and i'll post it in, in one of the corners where you can view it but uh with your small splits this is where you got to worry your small colonies your big colonies it is a problem you want, you want to keep them out of all your hives. But it's nearly impossible to keep them completely out of your hives. It just won't work. You're always going to have two or three. And if you only have two or three or under ten in your hive, you're, you're doing really, really good. The thing is with, with anything else when it comes to hive beetles, wax moss, it's just management. Keep them under control. You can never eliminate them completely. So what that does underneath the salt solution, the vinegar solution, in my opinion, it kills the larva when the hive beetles try to reproduce. They, uh, when, when the adult hive beetles uh, will lay their eggs inside the hive, when they hatch off, become pupae, whatever you call them, larva, they drop into the ground and they will reemerge as an adult. So. Once they fall into the soil, they're pretty much done. That's, that's my opinion of what happens to them. Uh, is they, they don't tolerate, especially this time of year where it's so hot. And if, if they was buried in the grass and then into the soil, they would have all this insulation and wet and moisture protecting them. Here they don't, especially if it's bare dirt. You could even get under there with a rake after you kill the grass and rake it bare and expose that ground as much as possible so the sun will dry it out and make it nearly impossible for those things. Plus, then you have the salt and vinegar solution on top of that, and it's just not a good environment for the hive beetles. It just, they won't grow. And then we use the beetle barns. As you can see, there's the beetle barn, and when I opened it up, I believe there was one beetle in it. And... They work very well. If there's if you got many hive beetles at all, and we can look around here, 
and we might find one or two there's just not that many around when you you keep them under control and manage them go we'll scan across this see if we can see any you may see some pop up before i do a lot of times when i'm filming i'm looking at the camera looking for the queen and then i won't spot her and somebody will pop up and say oh there well, there she was at time line so and so which i, I do appreciate that because that, that does help me a lot because i can go back and look at that time line where i've missed her and you've spotted her now this uh this right here is uh covered eggs so this is a good little split it's really grown it's grown good so it's basically three front three frames big now so it's it's a baby hive it's it's still grown it's got a long a ways to go it's not very old see this frame here is peppered full of eggs then I got one frame sitting on the outside plastic frame it's got some honey on it but another thing I want to talk about along with the beetles is you know your wax moss try to keep your bug zapper up I really really advise those bug zappers because they'll reduce your numbers uh, we'll use the the dust to dawn light comes on at, at night time goes off during the day and no it does not catch bees but it'll keep your numbers down but it's just all like I said it's all about management and just keep them under control uh, exposed wax is uh, a no-no when it comes to this time of year if you have wax that doesn't have that's not covered in bees get it out of the hive stack it to the side like this for a short period that you can or you can you can make your rack somewhere uh, and just leave it exposed to the light they won't bother if it's exposed you close it up put it in the box they'll tear it up you'll come back and it'll be full of uh, web and larvae and it'll be done it'll be destroyed but as long as you keep it open the wax moths can't touch it now one thing i want to talk about too and i've not talked about in our previous videos is uh we have 20 22 packages on sale for sale not on sale sorry for sale at barnyardbees.com uh if you want to get your order in for next year barnyardbees.com you can order your packages there also nukes beekeeping supplies uh if you need beetle barns we got those as well if you need the guardians here's a guardian that we use that that keeps beetles out very well hive beetles this is the time of year where you want to pay attention and where beekeeping gets harder don't just let your bees go get into your hives check them out inspect them uh, make sure you don't have too many hive beetles i went through this hive here and i honestly probably saw about six five or six total which is good very good and um, that'll be fun they, they won't have any trouble with all managing that and as long as they can't regenerate down in the soil we're, we're in good shape well that's about it just want to do a little update and prepare everybody for the hive beetles and let everybody know about the, the 2022 packages so that's about it folks don't forget please help share our videos clicking on the little bell like and subscribe thanks for watching barnyard bees